we're back for another video. Okay, we got some super exclusive shit right here. Shout out to the dude who tweeted me this video. This is like a Kobe Bryant movie, Kobe Bryant short film, whatever you want to call it. This is written and directed by Kobe. It's called Guarding the Greats. A lot of it's about LeBron. Like I said, yo, shout out to the person who told me about this. This was so hard to find. There's only one video of this online. Like, literally, it's so hard to find this shit. All right, Guarding let's watch. the Greats. The few that seem to be touched by the basketball gods themselves. The challenge of guarding these basketball demigods ultimately falls on one person. <laughs> the individual <coughs> defender must funnel the grades into areas on the court where his team can block, surround, and smother the player. Damn. There are times this works perfectly. And there are times where nothing you do defensively works. And you are at the mercy of said great. <laughs> like you own. You own the ball. You own the game. You own the guy who's guarding you. You can actually play him like a puppet. Like a puppet. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't like the idea of being someone's puppet. <laughs> Which brings me to today's matchup. Oh, it's that man. old saying, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you land amongst the stars. If Kevin Durant believes it's his responsibility to just slow down the king, then he'll probably fail. Right. But if it's his obsession to hold LeBron scoreless, then he actually gives himself a better chance of slowing him down. Right. But Kevin Durant knows he's pussy though, so there's a problem with that. So Kobe. how should he prepare? He can't. How was LeBron as a child? What was his favorite cereal? Favorite toy? What was his favorite subject in school? <laughs> what the hmm. fuck? Did he have a favorite teacher? Who? Damn that be it ass. What's his favorite color? Blue. What does that say about him? Maybe this explains why most of LeBron's points come from inside the paint. He likes a sure bet. Now that we've psychoanalyzed the man, let's figure out how that factors into his game. What are his habits and tactics? What the fuck? <laughs> this is crazy. I can almost hardly believe this is real. This extraordinary video will show you LeBron's habits, rhythms, and routines. H R R's. And now, for a limited time only, this video cassette can be yours to own. Ugly. The between the legs rhythm jumper. <laughs> yeah, he did that to KD. He did that to KD yesterday. KD has should have watched this video. Look at me. Look at me. step back jumper. Yep, doing that to KD too. Doing that to KD too. Look at me. <laughs> Feel free to download LeBron's habits on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet deal. Now let's take a closer look at some of these plays. Hell no, this is To have crazy. any chance of shutting down a great, you must stop them from getting easy baskets. In this clip, Melo can see where LeBron is, but what's most important is where LeBron is in relation to the ball. Staying between him and the ball closes the door on that massive lane yeah. to the hoop. That but Melo has bad defense. We know runway. that. We know this. We could look at Melo examples all day long. Now this is a matchup problem. Yeah, I mean, everybody, everyone's a matchup problem. can be problem. studied and learned. Let's look at the amount of space that is between Andrew Bogut's feet and the parquet floor as he hops from spot to spot. That's too much of a gap. Why is that important? Think about it. The closer Bogut is to the hardwood on his defensive slides, the quicker his reaction time will be to change directions yeah. and prevent that near ACL tear. <laughs> Most players will take Why one is to Kobe two really trying to help go into the help y'all stop LeBron? What's going two, on? One, two. This is their rhythm. This is their routine. 
This routine has been programmed into their bodies from practicing that move over and over again. By studying these practice routines, you can better anticipate and thereby disrupt their rhythm. Now, is breaking the game down like this a little obsessive? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But when you're standing between a grate and the basket, mm -hmm. success comes down to one thing. Right. Knowing without a doubt that you've done your homework. Do you truly understand his psychological and tactical tendencies? And can you act upon this knowledge and use it against him? If your answer is yes to these questions, then you stand a good chance at slowing him down. The variable, of course, is that LeBron will make adjustments, which is what all great players do. All we can do as defenders is focus on that which we can control and leave the rest up to the basketball gods. May the gods be with you. Hell no. I can almost hardly believe that's real. Kobe, that's so Kobe decides to make a movie, decides to make a short film. And the first one he makes is one on how to guard LeBron. Interesting, very, very interesting. You know, motherfucker, you finna be better than. Nah, I'm off, I'm off that. I'm off that one. I'm off that one, Kobe. Nah, that was, that was dope. That was dope. Shout out to Kobe. I hope he keeps on doing short films and uh, movies and shit like that, written and directed. That was dope. That was hot. Uh, ESP exclusive, super exclusive shit. Like I said, you can't really find this on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed. Shout out to the person who tweeted me this video. It's only one person. Shout out to you. Um, leave more likes. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, we do this every day. Tweet me more ideas. Instagram, YouTube, me comment, all of that hip fun, cool shit. But yeah, I mean, that's that's really what Durant has to do. Will Durant do that? No, because Durant knows in the fourth quarter, his percentage goes down as the game gets closer to ending. But we're not going to talk about that right now. Until they never been in boy, and I'm back. <laughs> Hell no, that shit's funny. Guarding the greats, just call it guarding LeBron. Like that was literally only about how to try and stop LeBron. Seven six wingspan, averages thirty in his sleep. Highly efficient. One of the top two players, as far as I'm concerned, on the planet Earth. Nowhere to be found in a fourth quarter with over nine minutes left. This dude had thirty three points. The last nine plus minutes, three points, all on free throws. <laughs> one shot against LeBron in Cleveland on Christmas Day after you dropped 33, but with nine minutes left, not one field goal. 